turns out comics can be pretty grim. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 darkest moments in superhero comics. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the darkest scenes ever illustrated in a superhero story. As quite a few of these moments are significant to the overall story, please be advised there will be spoilers. Number 10. Blob Has Wasp For Dinner Death is no stranger to both Marvel and DC, but 2009's Ultimatum decided to test its readers' gag reflexes with arguably the most disgusting murder of all time. A crossover event triggered by Magneto reversing the Earth's polarity, Ultimatum featured many shocking deaths, but Wasp's demise at the hands of the Blob stood out among the corpses, as she was eaten. Ultimatum does not clarify whether Wasp was alive when Blob got peckish, but either way, he eventually got what was coming to him. Number 9. Joker skins and humiliates Monty Out of all of DC's villains, nobody revels in sadism quite like the Joker. Told from a henchman's perspective, 2008's self-titled comic sought to explore the deranged criminal psyche, and presented the Joker as more of a crime boss than a cartoonish prankster. Following a stint in Arkham Asylum that coincided with the villain's gang losing ground to Penguin and Harvey Dent, Joker retaliated by skinning Monty, the owner of a strip club, and forcing the dying man to dance in front of a shocked audience. Nobody puts on a show like the Joker. Number 8. Rorschach's Origin Rorschach is one of the first characters introduced in issue number 1 of Watchmen, but readers had to wait until the 6th issue to learn more about this mysterious and dark vigilante. During his session with Dr. Malcolm Long, we learn of Walter Kovac's rough childhood and his path to becoming a masked vigilante, and of the night where he truly became Rorschach. After investigating the disappearance of six-year-old Blair Roche, Rorschach discovers the girl has been killed by her captor and fed to his dogs. Rorschach handcuffs the man to a stove, covers him in kerosene, and offers him a hacksaw to cut his own hand off in order to escape. He doesn't. The look on Dr. Long's face says it all. Number 7. Dr. Light Assaults Sue Dibney Identity crisis tends to be considered among DC's darkest storylines, and this reputation is completely justified. 2004's miniseries is a murder mystery centering around the death of elongated man's wife, Sue Dibney. Despite generally being treated as nothing more than a joke villain, the Justice League suspect Dr. Light to be the culprit. Green Arrow reveals that Dr. Light once raped Sue, but Zatanna mind wiped and altered the villain's personality to prevent a repeat. Besides rewriting the histories of multiple characters, Identity Crisis shows Sue's assault in graphic detail. Number 6. Kid Miracle Man Commits Mass Murder Often credited with launching the modern age of comics, one of Alan Moore's earliest works was a deconstruction of a Golden Age superhero called Marvel Man, who was basically a thinly veiled ripoff of Captain Marvel. Renamed Miracle Man outside of the UK, this fiercely graphic series includes a realistic childbirth, countless bloody bodies, and Kid Miracle Man, the hero's former sidekick, massacring thousands of people. The most harrowing moment comes at the start of his rampage when he considers sparing a young nurse who'd been kind to his meek alter ego, Johnny, only to return moments later for fear that people would think he was going soft. Number 5. Green Lantern Finds His Girlfriend Stuffed in the Fridge The phrase woman in refrigerators or fridging refers to romantic partners injected into a story solely to be killed off as a means of providing the protagonist with motivation. Lasting less than 10 issues, Alexandra DeWitt was Kyle Rayner's girlfriend before the Green Lantern power ring fell into the guy's lap, but the photographer is mostly remembered for being strangled to death by major force and stuffed in a refrigerator. After taking care of some thugs, Green Lantern returns home to find Alex on ice, and this incident helps mature Kyle into a better superhero. Number 4. The Death of Jason Todd Unsure whether to axe off a character or not? Thankfully, democracy was created exactly for this type of situation. Bringing an end to Jason Todd's run as Robin, a death in the family is among Batman's most famous storylines, and DC carried out a ballot to decide if the caped crusader's sidekick should survive to fight another day. A highly unpopular character at the time, fans voted in favor of Todd's demise, leading to the Joker senselessly bashing the hero with a crowbar. Just to guarantee the mission was a success, the villain also blew up the building. Number 3. Joker Tricks Superman Into Killing a Pregnant Lois If there is one villain crazy enough to break Superman's spirit, the Joker would have to be it. Set five years prior to the events of DC's fighting game with the same name, Injustice chronicles Superman's transformation from benevolent guardian to tyrannical overlord. Joker kidnaps a pregnant Lois and, using a variant of Scarecrow's fear gas, tricks Superman into mistaking Lois for Doomsday. 
In a fit of rage and, ironically, trying to protect Joker and Harley from the monster, Superman flies Doomsday into space. Eventually, the gas wears off and Clark learns the truth. Number 2. Logan Tricked into Killing the X-Men Old Man Logan bounces from one deranged and heartbreaking moment to the next, but Wolverine's Darkest Hour precedes the present-day storyline by decades. Back in the day, dozens of supervillains suddenly attacked the X-Mansion, forcing Logan to go on a rampage to protect the students. Once the attackers were all killed, Mysterio revealed this to be nothing more than an illusion, and Wolverine had actually slaughtered the other X-Men. These panels clearly illustrate the corpses of the fallen heroes. Due to the X-Men being taken out, the United States was effectively conquered by the supervillains. Number 1. The Killing Joke Yes, all of Alan Moore's graphic novel. The definitive Joker and Batman comic, Moore's one-shot sees Batgirl crippled and possibly raped by the Clown Prince of Gotham, while Commissioner Gordon is stripped naked and forced to watch the carnage. These vile acts are intercut with a sympathetic flashback outlining the Joker's origin story, but this contrast only makes the villain's actions all that more repulsive. A highly influential comic, Moore's own opinion on the killing joke has worsened with age, with the author believing the story was too nasty and regrets popularizing a trend where superheroes have to be brooding psychopaths. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.